Hello everybody, and welcome to the last episode of Demise of Nations, The Bentlox Conquest. At least I'm fairly sure that this will be the last episode. So we're just going to get straight to it. We need to take out Poland. That is our only goal. We just need to get rid of Poland, and I also need to make a navy to deal with them. So they have quite a few ships out to sea. Make a couple of those. And we should be set on the Navy. Yeah. So, yeah, this... I'm not quite sure what I want to do after this Let's Play. I kind of want to do um, another Demise of Nations Let's Play because, of course, I just got the new maps. Would you guys like to see a Demise of Nations Conquest after this one? Like, on a different map? And, of course, you guys will vote on the map. I haven't decided whether it'll be like an official vote or I'll just let you guys tell me in the comments. We'll get it taken care of somehow. So I'm earning very well on iron preparing this invasion force. There we are. I actually. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I don't need this many tanks. No, we'll just go with it. You can never have too many. There we are. Take care of that. Uh, we'll work on the city next turn because right now it's on fire. Alright, I think they know it's coming because they're already moving their units really away from mine. I mean, they are hauling ass. Look at this. Of course, the infantry cannot outrun the fucking... I was going to say Ghost Division, like trying to make it seem cooler than it actually is. But in reality, it's just two tanks that I made it in a city. That's it. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and move them to the border. But yeah, in reality, I don't, I shouldn't have made units in this area. I should have made them in this one over here. Actually, oh, I do have a tank. Oh. Alright, so I'll make a couple of tanks in here. Go for that airfield, go for that city, and we should be good. The thing that's really bothering me with, um, Poland is how, I guess, spread out their units are. They're all over the place, so I'm scared that I'll miss one or something. There we are. And raise the city's happiness. There we are. Once again, how the fuck does that work? Like, the whole distributing money thing. I never understood that in this game. Or Age of Conquest. Like, you just fucking walk down the street and give them money? Like... I never understood that, but oh well, I'll quit questioning it. Alright, they are moving those fucking jets fast. Also, this episode I am being a, um, a bit of a heretic. Rather than an AOA, I have a water bottle with me. I've been trying to be more healthy nowadays, I guess. <laughs> Even though I have a packet of paydays next to me. Alright, moment of truth everyone. I think that we're about as prepared as we'll ever be. So let's go ahead and get this over with. Oh, alright. My happiness is horrible. Fix that. Oh god, alright. So we're already off to a horrible start. <laughs> Take care of that. So I actually... I think I made a pretty good navy, honestly. Uh, don't question the circle right here. And... Boom. I, I think that we're going to handle this very well. I think that we're going to take Poland quick. Because, of course, this is pretty much a Blitzkrieg. And as we all know, Poland isn't very good against those. But, I don't know. I kind of expect more out of them in this game. I don't know how much credit I should give them, though. Um, there we are. Oh, god damn it, alright. Please don't let the infantry just run everywhere, do whatever they want. Please don't let that happen. That always happens in this game. The infantry just runs around, 
and essentially makes it to where you can't win the game unless you completely surround their units. And it's annoying as all hell. It's like playing a strategy game with a 12 year old. Actually not even 12, like an 8 year old. And there we are, I think. Oh wait, no, no, no. And... Holy fuck, I have a lot more units than I thought. <laughs> Alright, we have a message. I think I already know who that's gonna be from, but... Let's look anyway. <laughs> I was fucking right. One... I'm saying that this is a day, each turn is a day. So one day into the war. And they already want. Oh, uh, fuck off. One day into it, and they already want to quit. I'm not fighting fucking France here. I expect more out of you, Poland. Hmm. I know that the France joke is overused, but. It's still gold. It's still gold. There we are. See, the way the game makes it look is that when those units are just like running around, taking territory, taking your territory, it makes it look like it's all worse than it really is. But in reality, it's just a unit running around everywhere and then the tiles get colored. That's pretty much just it. In short, land in this game doesn't really matter. Alright, take that back. It does matter if you want to win, but it doesn't show that your nation is powerful, is what I meant to say. These cities are very, very well defended. Uh, are we good over here? Yes, we are. Good over here? We should be. Ukraine? Are you protecting this unit right here? Because I can't get to them. Actually, wait, no, I can just go around. Okay. <laughs> Alright, nice try, but it didn't work. Quick question, would you guys like Let's Plays to be edited more? I mean, I know I've asked you guys, but... Like, for Let's Plays and stuff, do you guys want to see more editing, or do you just want to see, like, gameplay and commentary, and some editing? Because I am capable of editing my Let's Plays a lot, I just don't know if you guys would want me to. Like, if it would ruin it or something. That's why I've been doing um, the videos where I just do an entire conquest, one video, add music, add editing. But if you guys would like to see something like that for just regular Let's Plays, then tell me. But, oh well. Let's get off that subject because right now we need to focus on Poland. I think that we've pretty much got them. Uh, let's see how much land we had. Holy shit. Alright, let's see how much land we have. 78? What? That's a lot less than I thought it would be. What the fuck? Okay. Do I have to declare war on somebody else? Norway, perhaps? I don't understand what's going on here. This looks like a lot of land. This looks like enough to win me the game. I guess let's declare war on Russia. Let's just go ahead and break relations. Get it over with. Um, do they have any units over here? Oh, they have quite a few actually. Alright. I'm gonna take a bit of a twist in this episode. We're just gonna go to war with Russia. Because I don't think that Poland's gonna give me the land that I need. But it said, it said that all I would have to do is take out Poland. That's it. I just needed that amount of land and I would win. I don't get why it changes now, but oh, well, Russia's not that well defended. Alright, we got a couple more messages. Oh, support. Um, Turkey, no. Morocco, no. Wait, who's Turkey at war with? Ukraine? Yeah, they're at war with Ukraine. Alright, I'm definitely not supporting you then. I actually like Ukraine. 
I mean, I wouldn't have supported them in the first place, but no, I'm definitely not doing it. So still, I don't know still if it's just that I need to take out Poland or something more. I'm not sure, but we can take out Russia easy. In reality, if I can take out... If I can take out Russia as Bulgaria in my War Conqueror 4 Conquest, I can take them out as Benelux. I mean, really. So I'm hoping that that will give me... I guess, the land that I need. I'm not quite sure how this game is judged, or how it judges you for... Conditions for winning the game, really. I don't know if it's power, I don't know if it's land. I'm not quite sure. I know in Age of Conquest it was land, but in this game, because I pretty much took it all of Poland, and if I took all their land, then I would have won, but I'm nowhere near winning right now. Well, I wouldn't say nowhere near. I'm not winning, basically. I'm, I'm not quite sure how to put this any other way. I know that... Yeah, I just don't know how to put it. So if any of you know, or maybe if Noble Master sees this video by any chance, I would like to know how power like this is judged in the game. Because that's 77 and then there's 36, that exceeds 100. So it doesn't go up to 100%. I'm actually very curious as to how this is judged. Alright, let's go and declare war on Russia. What the fuck is going on here? Alright, I'm guessing that Poland sent over a ship or something. Oh, a transport. Oh, that's the one that was in the English Channel earlier. What a bitch move. You know, no, let's just go ahead and declare war on Russia. I mean, like I said, if I can take them out as Bulgaria, I can definitely do it as Benelux. And in the Bulgarian conquest, I had to take over the entirety of their land. And this is just this little part right here. Let's go and send down a tank. Do with that infantry right there. And the rest goes straight to Russia. See if I can do what Napoleon could never do. Or Hitler at that. There we are. You know, Ukraine is kind of unintentionally helping me with this. Though I wouldn't say that it's completely unintentional. <coughs> Crimea. Oh, what was that? Alright, time to invade the part of Russia that actually matters. Up here. But, the thing is, it looks intimidating, I guess. It is a little bit intimidating. But in reality, that's nothing. It's just empty land with a couple of cities. See, this is why you should dis Oh, God, I can't talk. This is why you should dismantle your roads if you know that somebody's going to declare war on you. Dismantle your roads and they can't get their units across as quickly. I mean, look at this. It is quite amazing, actually, to me that roads are the most OP thing in this game. There we are. Well, let's see what my power is now. Actually, there we are. I know the money. Oh well. Yeah, let's see my power right now. Seventy-eight point five two eight. Something still seems off, but I'm gonna keep on going. You know, I never noticed up until now, but Russia has a lot of naval units off my coast. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Sorry for that awkward pause. But, I'm not quite sure how I feel about taking on a navy right now. Because naval battles in this game are honestly just very anticlimactic, I'll say. I mean, it is a game just based on conquest, so you wouldn't expect naval battles to be outstanding, but still. There we are. We are just making short work of Russia. I'm pretty sure that we can make short work out of any nation in this game, except Morocco. If surprisingly, Morocco is the biggest threat right now, because... Hold up, I'll go and look 
done at them after I get done here. Because they actually have a very good position on me. Oh, they have an aircraft carrier. The sons of bitches. Alright. Rick on Poland. I'll go and show Morocco here in a second. I just need to take care of this. There we are. Why the fuck am I moving two tanks over to the... Why am I moving tanks over to Ireland? This city is fully capable. That was so stupid. I just kind of went brain dead there for a second. Why the fuck did I do that? Oh, Christ. Alright, now let's look at Morocco. See this? As soon as I... If I were to declare war on them... They would take out my land in Africa immediately. And... It looks like they wouldn't try to invade Spain. I'm not quite sure how successful that would be, but... I still don't want it to happen. Uh, I don't really need this navy anymore, but... I'll let them play around in the Mediterranean for a while. Yeah, I'll try to get them over here. Let's make this a bit of a challenge. There we are. Russia's trying to get more aircraft in, it looks like. Hmm. I kind of want to get Ukraine involved in this war, but in reality I know that I can't let them get the land from Russia. Because they would gain a lot. So, I'll resist the urge to bring them into the war. So, a big thing that I love about this game and basically all of Noble Masters games is how quickly, how clearly you can see the progress made. At the beginning of this, I was stressing out over who to declare war on. France or Germany. Like, that was the huge thing. And now I'm just taking out countries like Poland and Russia. Not even trying, really. So you can definitely see how much your country progresses. And I really do like that. Even if it becomes kind of boring, you know, you, do, you go completely god mode like I am right now. It's still fun. Um, we definitely need some rockets over here. There we are. Gonna move these units through here. See, this road right here, these roads are making this way too easy. I mean, I already have great units and a lot of them, but the roads, they really are just making this way too easy. I kind of want to email Noble Master or something and just tell him, <laughs> nerf the roads. <laughs> oh man, I, I really want to do that. I might, I might. See, took that duck, and we'll take this city in no time, I think. Though we do need to focus on this aircraft carrier. I have not forgotten about that. Uh, where is it? There it is. So it isn't showing how much damage I do, which is kind of weird, because normally it does. Hmm. So it's not telling me how well those ships are doing against the aircraft carrier, but I'm just going to assume that I'll win that. And let's go and take a look at my power. 83. Well, boys, I think I think we all know what's going to come next. Ukraine. It has to happen. It does. After Ukraine, I'll definitely win this. If I don't, then... This game's just bullshitting me. Alright, let's see how quickly I can just absolutely destroy Ukraine. I think... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I haven't, <laughs> haven't acquired war on them yet. Um, what? I have... Alright, you know what? I'll just go with it. Don't know why the helicopter's flying above the city like that, but... We're just gonna go with it, like I said. See how quickly we just... Complete.
completely destroy all their land. I also got an achievement for uh, 10,000 kills, so I would say I've excelled from just being average at genocide to being pretty good at it. Whether that's a compliment to me or not, I'll let the game decide. But I would say that is a fairly big achievement. Oh! Oh, I can do it! I took Constantinople. I saved it from Turkey. That's all I wanted. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think it was. Um... Why the fuck is Sweden neutral against me? Did they break relations with me? Oh shit. I think Sweden's declaring war on me. Alright. I wasn't ready for this, but... We'll get it taken care of. Why the fuck is Sweden wanting to declare war on me? And yes, they are gonna do it, or else they wouldn't have broke relations. Okay, okay, you know what, let's just get ready for it. Quit talking about it. Alright, let's take a look at Ukraine. Yeah, we completely destroy them in one turn. Alright, so not only do I have to take out Ukraine, I guess now I need to destroy Sweden. Why are they declaring war on me? What did I do to you guys? You were one of my first allies, you dicks. You know what, just for that, if you offer us a peace treaty, we ain't gonna accept it. Mm-mm, no way. Hey, I brought this on yourselves. And why the fuck isn't this jet dying? I think that city's invincible, but we'll go with it for now until I know for sure. There we are. So in addition to conquering somebody, I need to defend myself against Sweden. I, Like I said, I was not prepared for this. So they could easily take a lot of my land in the first turn. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. It doesn't matter. Make a couple of tanks. Oh, maybe I'm just overreacting and they haven't actually thought about declaring war on me. I don't know, but I'm going to be safe. I think that's safe to say that Sweden wants to go to war. Alright, so it's now the turn where Sweden can declare war on me and I can declare war on them. And they didn't do it. Am I overreacting to the situation? Are they trying to declare war on me? I'm not quite sure. But... I'm very close to winning this conquest, and... Sweden might be... the last push. It could be. For all we know, this could be the winning thing for us. 93... Point seven nine two. I mean, I think that we have to declare war on Sweden. If you guys want to break relations with me, fine. I'm an asshole. <laughs> That's all I am in this situation. I'm not defending my land or anything. I'm just an asshole. But why would they break relations with me if they didn't want to do something, though? Like, that's what I don't get. Why didn't they declare war on me? I'm so confused. Because the AI doesn't just do that. I'm not sure. Either way, we already declared war. That's the end of it. Let's get a couple of troop transports ready to invade Sweden. Alright, so I really do think that Sweden is the last push. At first it was a joke, a way of kind of justifying the war. But now I actually think that it's true. So let me just go and show you after I get done moving these units. Let's see, there we are. So 
8.126. I think that the way that Sweden has will win me this. So while it started off as a joke, I really do think that this is all I will need. Hopefully Norway doesn't try to do anything, because I don't need them taking that land. Like I said, if they're going to break relations with me, they were going to do something in the first place. Alright, you can't tell me that they were peaceful. You know, I'm not even going to skip over this. I think that this will be the end of the game right here. Or not because I can't move this tank. There we are. I think taking this city... And this one is the end of the game, because I have 97.225 right now. Let's just go ahead and play it. I'm not even going to skip through this part. Alright, that was faster than I expected. Probably because there are less countries, really. Watch, this is it. Alright, I spoke too soon. <laughs> What the f- Alright, Sweden is gonna spam me. I forgot about all those units they had on the border with Norway, god damn it. Alright, this time I think that I have it. I really do mean it this time, I think that I have it. So, I made a full scale invasion. As you can see here, it's still going. There we are, and we're at 99. This should be enough. Take this city, take this city. Is this supposed to be Stockholm? Huh, I thought it'd be closer to the water. Anyway, I think that we have it right here. Just go ahead, not skip through it. I think that this is it. And plus I asked Norway and Greece to submit to me. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. There we are. Oh god. <laughs> that that feels very satisfying. I'm very satisfied right now. Like whenever I finish a conquest in this game as a very underpowered nation or group of nations. It's just so satisfying, actually being able to win the conquest. Now all we need is a Luxembourg conquest and a Tonantuva conquest, and I think I'll be the most satisfied man in the world. Please don't make me do that, honestly. But yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this Let's Play. I know I did. I really did enjoy this game. It's a game that I want to play on the channel a lot more. So yeah, what map would you guys like to see for the next Let's Play? Would you like to see the world map? Would you like to see the map that King Bulls did? I think those are the two that I'm going to go with. I don't know, you guys can tell me down in the comments. There you are, if you want to look at all the stats you can. See how much I... My income, $49,574. And I spent 44778 Well, I definitely didn't let that money go to waste. Uh, Turkey seems to be in debt. Every nation except for me seems to have been in debt. Or they... Nah, they were definitely in debt. Alright, I'm gonna go and end the episode there. Thank you guys so much for supporting this Let's Play. And yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.